Hi Robotarians, welcome back to Robo How To, Roboterra's instructional video series where we show you all the great things you can do with Roboterra's Origin Kit. We've all seen a traffic light. I used to live in a small town in Massachusetts that only had one. I also used to live in New York City where there's, well, more than one. Today, we're going to program our LEDs, green and red, to toggle on and off, similar to a traffic light. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, let's get this built. Today I'm going to be using a green LED, a red LED, a button sensor, three wires, my RoboCore controller board, and of course, my Castle Rock online learning platform account. First things first, take my green LED, plug it into one end of the wire, take the other end, that's going to go into RoboCore, into port DIO1. Just like so. Next, I'll do the same with my red LED. Into one end of the wire. The other end into port DIO2 on RoboCore. Just like so. And last but not least, my button. Attach one end to the wire. And the other end goes into RoboCore into DIO3. RoboCore is attached to Castle Rock with a black USB cable. Let's take a look at the coding. First, use the class name Roboterra RoboCore to name my robot, and I like to name it Tom after myself. Next, I'll list my electronics. Using the class name Roboterra Button, I'll name my button BT. For my LEDs, I'll use the class name Roboterra LED, and I'll name the green one green and the red one red, nice and simple. Step two, I've got to tell RoboCore where my electronics can be found. First, my button, BT, is attached to port DIO3. My green LED, named green, is attached to port DIO1. And my red LED, named red, is attached to port DIO2. Step three, inside handle RoboTerra event, I'll use a conditional statement to tell my robot what I'd like it to do. So if the event is of the type RoboCore launches, green will turn on and red remains off. My next conditional statement I'll preface with the word else. Else, if the event is of the type button is pressed, and this next line explains how many times, this number one right here, if the button is pressed one time, then green will turn off, red will turn on. Last but not least, else, conditional statement if the event is the data received indicates two presses of the button, then my LEDs are going to switch. Green will turn on and red will turn off. Okay, let's run my program. So here is my green and red LED. There's green, it's on. Let's press the button once. They swapped, red's on, green's off, press it again, green on, red off. Very cool, huh? Thanks for joining us, Robotarians. Don't forget to join us on social media. Roboterra, we make, you create.